We're going to talk about traditions, the stress they cause, and how to break it. made it to segment five of our holiday stress management series. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. If you haven't watched the other videos, please look in the links down below for those videos or just check out our page. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below as well. So today we are talking about traditions and the stress that comes along with traditions and sometimes breaking those traditions. So today I've got my beautiful ugly Christmas sweater that I absolutely love. I love this tradition, but there are some traditions. The elves and I, we were up until 1.30 last night that I don't like so much that cause me stress. Sometimes these traditions that we have, we bring on ourselves. Other times the traditions that we are stressed out about are things that we have no control over. They were traditions that we were married into or that our ancestors that are long dead started and we got no say in or that we started at a time in our lives when things were different but things have changed. So how do you deal with the stress of breaking tradition? Traditions are sacred, right? We all know that like when you break a tradition, it's going to hurt somebody somewhere. Somebody's going to be mad. But is the stress that you're feeling about that tradition or the things that you have to do because of that tradition worse than the stress that you feel for breaking that tradition? That's kind of what you've got to figure out. Okay, so first of all, you need to be honest, okay? You need to know what your feelings are behind the tradition. People say you have to have a great reason to break tradition because we're all going to be mad at you. <laughs> you know what? No one should feel pressured to have to continue a tradition that they don't like. Like, I get it, you want to be considerate of the people around you, but at the same time, if you have traditions that are stressing you out, you shouldn't feel obligated to continue with those. You have to voice your concerns. Talk to them and try and figure out some ways and tell them your concerns. And remember that they do love you. Somewhere in there, even if they're upset with you, they do still love you. And just go to them with that. Tip number two is to Try not to be angry. Don't approach it with anger. If you're upset and you're trying to have a rational conversation, well, those two things don't really mesh. So try to approach it calmly and take other people's opinions and listen to them. And if you know that you're going to get upset, just say, hey, I am not thinking about this rationally right now. I think it would be best if we both just separated for now and came back calmly and talked about it later. I just wanted to let you know this is kind of how I'm feeling and then take it that way. That way neither of you is making a decision while you're angry. Remember that you can't please everyone. So and hopefully the people that want to keep the tradition understand that they can't please everyone as well and they don't get offended. You can try, but don't stress over it. Do what is the best for you and your family, your mental health, your stress. It's not worth it, and everyone will eventually get over it if it's too much stress for you. They will eventually understand. And the next thing is be willing to give a little. See if there's a compromise that you can make. Uh, I know this year we're not getting together for Christmas, but we're talking about possibly meeting up halfway somewhere, not even before Christmas, but after Christmas, when the roads are good, a couple weeks or for New Year's or something. It has to work both ways, but be willing to kind of see things from their side and give a little bit. You're not probably going to get exactly what you want because how many times in life do we get exactly what we want? Hardly ever. And remember, there's always next year. If this doesn't work out and you're still trying to figure out about breaking that tradition and you end up not liking it, remember you can always do something different the next year. That's what life is all about, right? We mess up and we figure things out. So remember, there's always next year. Suggest an alternative. 
be in touch with everybody, let them know that you still care, but work and try and find a different alternative. If your great aunt's Christmas party that you hate to be at is the only time you see this certain cousin, then say, hey, is there a time that we can get together and just hang out and just see how it works? And again, I'm gonna say it, remember, you can't please everyone. So in the end, traditions are great. At some point, you have to be yourself and you have to pave your own way and people have to understand that. This is a very sensitive subject and if you guys have any other ideas about how to deal with breaking traditions, then please comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope this helps your holiday season be a little more stress-free and we love you. Happy holidays and we will see you again next time. Bye.